that um, writing documentation takes a long time or can take a long time. Writing user documentation for um, applications that have GUI elements takes a really long time and a lot of that time is spent creating the screenshots that you need to support that GUI. Um, so getting the browser, getting your GUI in the right place with the right data showing, taking the screenshot. And then of course if your GUI develops, you change the colours, you add a button, you add a function, you have to make all of those screenshots again. So we thought if that process of making the screenshots could be automated and set once, then not only would it make making or refreshing the documentation, documentation quicker, be more easy to keep up your documentation and your code in sync, it might also encourage people to write documentation at an earlier stage in the process instead of right at the end of a project when time and money are running out, because there'd be less concern that all of that work would have to be redone if anything changed during the development process. Okay, so we implemented a, a demo version of this. We have a, a simple web application we've built, which has two versions. The first version lets you choose your favorite color, and when you click on the color, it highlights the background of where you've clicked. The second version behaves a little bit differently. When you click it, it sets the entire pane to the color. And we've written a tool that we're calling Snippy Snap that will automatically take screenshots of these things with um, Selenium, which is a, a way of basically automating Firefox into running what you want um, from the script, and then saving those screenshots. So if I go ahead and run the Snippy Snap for the first version, it will automatically take a screenshot of that first one I showed, which just um, highlights the single button. And that doesn't take very long because it doesn't have anything else to compare it to. And it now produces this report, which doesn't have anything in yet because nothing's changed. And it's also automatically filled in our documentation and screenshotted the documentation. So this has been updated with the latest screenshot. If I now come and run the second one, which will take a bit longer, it will update that screenshot in the documentation automatically. And this is just HTML documentation. <laughs> This could have easily fed into LaTeX or um, Jekyll or whatever your favorite documentation system is, assuming it relied on an external image. It does take a few seconds to do that. There needs to be some optimizing done still for the code. Right, it's now finished. And if I hit refresh on there, you now see it's automatically updated the documentation. And it's also produced as a report telling us what changed. So it will show here, this is what the picture now looks like. This is what it used to look like. This shows the highlight of where it changed. So it's basically trying to invert every pixel that changed. And then this one is a mask just showing the pixels that changed between two images. So you've got a way of highlighting to the user where it changed. If you've got subtle changes that appear in the UI, it might not be immediately obvious where things have differed. And for instance, here there's this white blob at the top, and I'm not entirely sure what has caused that one. It's the one and the two. Ah, yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it's a bit hard to read sometimes. Yeah, you're right. Yes. <laughs> and we've also um, released it onto Nodo, so we now have a DOI full of um, software and a lovely little um, Citus button. And we even tried to make a citation file, though possibly not quite in the right format. So, um... That looks really cool. I can hear you all thinking. <laughs> so thank you. Uh, but what we're going to do next, we're going to try and implement it so we can crop images, highlight areas with rings or arrows, put a configuration file in there so you can get it tailored just to what your needs are and you can do a whole application. And finally, we'd like to implement it for image from other standalone applications which use Java and other tools. It looks like there are libraries there so we can have ImageJ and PowerView doing things, similar things. And then it's not just the documentation, it's all your training materials. You don't have to update it, training materials. And that's it. <laughs>